Hi everybody, it's story time with Grandma Kate and I'm back with Junie B. Jones and the Yucky Blucky Fruitcake. Today we're going to be reading chapter three, which is all about carnivals. Have you ever been to a carnival? I used to go to them when I was in elementary school. We used to have one at our school every year and I loved the cakewalk. I think that's what I told you about um, in the last video. So let's see what Junie B. has to say about carnivals today. Remember, she's still at school. She just got at school in the last, got to school in the last chapter and realized that she might not always be the bestest game winner, especially if she's competing with Grace and Lucille. But anyway, this is her in the classroom. Mrs. took attendance. Attendance is when you say the word here, only I didn't feel like saying it, so I just raised my hand very flimsy. Are you feeling all right, Junie B? Mrs. asked. She's okay, said Lucille. She's just mad because I beat her at hopping. Yeah, only I already explained that to you, madam, I shouted at Lucille's face. Mrs. clapped her hands loud at me. Junie B. Jones, that will be enough of that, she said. I put my head on my table again. This day is a bummer, I whispered just to myself. Mrs. stood up at her desk. Boys and girls, may I have your attention, please? I would like to talk to you about a special night coming up at school on Friday. It's called Carnival Night. Does anyone know what a carnival is? I do, I do, said that Jim I don't like. A carnival is like what they have at the state fair every year. There's lots of rides there, like the Ferris wheel and the Tilt-A-Whirl and the bumper car. Yeah, and there's a shooting gallery with fake ducks, said Jamal Hall. And there's cotton candy that rots your teeth by eating big black holes in your protected tooth enamel, said a boy that I love named Ricardo. Ricardo's mom is a dentist, I think. After that, a crybaby boy named William stood up very shy. He said one time he rode a scary roller coaster and he didn't even cry that much except for he accidentally threw up his chili dog. Then Polly Allen Puffer told about carnival food that he threw up too, like a candy apple and caramel corn and a rubber band. Except that is not food, that is office supplies. I raised my hand. Carnivals are rip-offs, I said, because one time my daddy kept on trying to knock over three bottles with a ball but even when he hit them, they wouldn't fall down. So then he and mother had to call the cops and also eyewitness news at six and 10. Mrs. laughed out loud. Yeah, only that is not a laughing matter, I told her. She stopped smiling. No, of course it isn't, she said. But I promise that nothing like that will happen at our school's carnival night, Jimmy B. All the games are going to be run by the parents and teachers and there will be hundreds of prizes to win. I sat up a little straighter. Hundreds, I said. Hundreds, she said. Yeah, only I don't even know how to win them, I said. And so Mrs. got out a piece of paper that told all about carnival games. Well, let's see, she said. It says there will be a fishing booth, a penny toss, a moonwalk tent, a putting green, clothespins in a bottle, a basketball shoot, a ring toss, and a booth where you can throw wet sponges at our principal's face. Just then, room nine started laughing very much because throwing sponges at principal is a dream come true. That's why. Mrs. kept on reading. It also says that Mrs. Hall, the art teacher, will be painting faces in the art room. And in our very own room nine, there's going to be a cakewalk. Jumped right out of my chair. Hey, guess what? Walking on cake is the funnest thing I love. Because one time at a picnic, I stepped on my grandpa's little Debbie snack cake with bare feet. And the creamy filling was very squishing between my toes. Goony, shouted that Jim I don't like. You Goony Bird Jones, you don't walk on cake. A cake walk is a game where you win a cake. Right, teacher? Right? Mrs. made squinting eyes at him. Yes, Jim, but we do not call people Goony Birds. Calling people names is rude. 
Plus, if you want to make a comment, I would appreciate it if you would politely raise your hand. Like me, right, Mrs., I hollered out, because I raised my hand very polite when I told you that carnivals were ripoffs. Remember that? Then a lot of other kids shouted that they were very polite, too. And so I had to stand on my chair so Mrs. could hear me. Yeah, only they can't be as polite as me. Right, Mrs.? Because I said it first. Right? Right? Now, if you look at Mrs. here, I can relate to Mrs. when I was a first grade teacher, even when I taught kindergarten. A lot of times my kids would all talk at once and I'd come home and go, oh, I need to lie down and take a nap or take some aspirin. Sometimes kids just get ants in their pants and talk out a lot. <laughs> then Mrs. rubbed her head for a very long time. And also she took some aspirin. And that's the end of that chapter. <laughs> that's the very end. Poor Mrs. gets a headache. Oh, well. <laughs> Tomorrow or in the next story time, I'll be reading about how Junie Beach goes home and she practices winning the games. So the next chapter is called Very Practicing. So until then, have a great day and I'll see you soon.